Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle and today we are planning the 2021 trip to St. Louis which is where we will be starting Fantasy RV Tour. Lewis and Clark. I think it's 47 days. 45 days. So bad at this. Okay, we will be meeting in St. Louis. It's called Rivers West, Path of Lewis and Clark with Fantasy RV Tours. It is a 45 day tour, which starts off in St. Charles, St. Louis, and ending in Warrington, Portland, or, or near Portland, Oregon. There are several stops along the way. And I believe we're going to Glacier also. Yay, National Park! Okay, in the meantime, I need to book from Las Vegas back to Galveston at Stellamar RV Resort. Stay there for probably 20-some you know, days. A little less than, a little more than two weeks, less than three. And then head towards St. Charles. Now, there are two websites I use. That is called RV Trip Wizard. I'm not going to explain what it is. It's a paid website that I do use. You put in your starting location and then it, it asks you how far you want to drive and it does several circles. This, for example, I only like to drive about two, three hundred miles. So there's a 200 mile circle from your starting location a 250 and a 300 which is fabulous because then you can guesswork how many miles you want to drive a particular day and then within that circle or inside or outside that circle boundary you'll know that there's a RV park that you could stay at and make reservations and it lists all the RV parks on their website now, I, however, also use the second one that is my resource, which is KOA. KOA.com. And what, if you do join them, make sure you join the, um, oh, what is it called? Okay, make sure you join the rewards loyalty program. It is an additional fee. However, you get it back in your first three, four stays. And you get discounts when you book through KOA.com. Now the reason I like KOA.com is that you don't have to deal with anything. Everything is an online reservation. You tell them your preferences, which mine is 50 amp, water, sewer, full hookups, and pull through, and internet. Now some of their internet, where they say they have internet, it's not really internet. If they say you cannot stream videos or movies, that's not internet. Internet is when you can stream movies and you can watch Netflix and any other else, any other, anything else online. The fact that they offer you cable, who really watches cable TV nowadays? It's 2021. It's not 2000. It's not 1980. These RV sites need to start putting up internet towers. If they can't afford it, raise your fee. It's that simple. Just raise your fee. People balk at it? No. The ones who balk at it can't afford to stay where you're, you're staying to begin with or living outside of their own budget. There are people who will pay for it. I'm one of them along with a lot of other people who work online, who work on the road. Okay, let me show you where I'll be going. Again, I don't do all this computer stuff. I can learn, but I don't want to bother. I've got other things that I'd rather be doing. So I'll pan the camera over to show you my route. And then the also the Lewis and Clark route. Now this particular trip this year, it's going to be about a five month period. I will be leaving on April 1st and coming back probably late August or early September. 
Not really sure yet. Thanks, sir. Fluid. All right, this is one of the reasons I love RV Trip Wizard. This is our starting location, Las Vegas. And then we go to Kingman, Tucson, Las Carices, Carlsbad, Fort Stockton, San Antonio, Stella Mar RV Resort, that's in Galveston. And then Riverview Campground up in near Waco, Texas, Oklahoma City. Springfield KOA and and then from there we start the fantasy RV tour it starts off in st. Charles and then goes to all these places forty-five days they completely arrange all the RV sites activities and probably about 60% of the dinners which is wonderful and then when that trips over in Warrington Portland Oregon and then that's when we start back we're gonna do the Tri-Cities KOA there's a lot of national parks over there we have a friend in Boise uh, Salt Lake City to visit Ben and then Moab we're gonna do the big five in Utah uh, Cedar City then back to Las Vegas so an RV trip wizard does estimating of all that and how many miles you'll be driving each day or each trip I'm old-fashioned I like paper paper maps make reservations online and I don't like really don't like talking to people okay, the reason why I like doing online reservations as opposed to calling a website and talking to someone about the reservation is a lot of times they say no problem which 90% of the time I say it is no problem however there is that 10% where it becomes a major inconvenience one rotten apple spoils the whole bucket. Uh, last year we were traveling through Texas. Actually, no, we were in New Mexico. No, we were in Texas. We were in Texas. I made a reservation and I always say the same thing. 50 amps, sewer, water, and pull through. Those are my requirements for reserving. Internet. It, it's okay if the internet connection is lousy, especially if it's only one night. If it's more than one night, it becomes problematic. Now, the proprietor told me, no problem, we get there, he gives me a 30 amp. Which became problematic because it was about 110 degrees outside. 30 amp with Wanda doesn't cut it when it's 110 degrees outside. I need both my air conditioner. And yes, I do have soft start on both my air conditioners, but 30 amp is not gonna pull it. When both air conditioners are working at the same time, I, I need to make dinner, that means the microwave, we've got our TVs, we got our computers. I don't do this, what is it called? Boondocking. I don't do the boondocking thing. I, well, I like my modern day luxuries. I need electricity. I want the power. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's enough bitching from me. So, what was I, where was I going? Squirrel! <laughs> Squirrel! What was I talking about? All right, well, I don't know what else to talk about. So, I'll leave you with this. Uh, we may be going on a fall trip because I'd like to do the national parks in Arizona, New Mexico more. Maybe Southern California if, if and when they get a new governor. Right now, the California governor is right. a wing social communist. Um, he's essentially made all of California live 
as if they were in North Korea. So when they get a new governor, I'll be probably doing the Southern California National Parks, which I'm really excited about. And hopefully they, California gets some sort of freedom again, which right now they don't have any. They don't even realize it. They're so easily eager to just hand over their freedom. It's ridiculous. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the journey that we'll be taking for this year. Bye!